Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys sneak peek number 4 for the new update coming out in Clash. So no one really likes to have a tie inside of a clan war which is why this next sneak peek is pretty nice and we're finally going to have a clan war tiebreaker system uh, to clear up those nasty grey ties that you guys might see inside of your warlogs. So now if you guys watch Nordic Clash 2015, the live stream we did about a month ago, it's going to be the same exact system they implemented there to where total destruction is now going to be the clan wars tiebreaker. If the score is even at the end of the war, let's say it's 40 stars to 40 stars, the clan with more destruction percentage in their best attacks is going to be the victor. This means that it's finally going to be super important to try to get as many percentage points as possible whenever you're doing your clan war raid, because again, the clan that has the best percentage points for their, uh, I guess, their total, their best attacks is going to be the victor of that war. We saw it inside of the Nordic Clash live stream, uh, but this means you definitely want to let your troops run out in every single raid to try to destroy as many buildings as possible possible. I know I'm in the habit when I push in multiplayer to where when I get a 50% two star, I'm going to go ahead and end the battle right there to save my king and queen's health. But now in clan wars, it could come back to bite you in the end if you don't let the attack run out and try to get as many percentage points as possible. I think this is a pretty fair way to have a tiebreaker system. Obviously, something like a 1v1 duel between the clan leaders would be pretty cool, but then you'd have to coordinate times that the clan leaders are online and all this other crazy stuff. I could see that why that wouldn't work. So I feel like this is a great solution. And if we can finally get rid of those crazy warlocks, especially for max town hall tens where you see a bunch of two stars uh, across the board so uh, yeah looks pretty good to me and uh, we're finally going to be able to decide those wars once and for all so finally, there was a forum exclusive sneak peek, and uh, this one was actually that you're going to be able to buy a seven day shield now inside of Titan 3 and Titan 2. So this is pretty interesting. This is going to let those players actually take a break up there because normally you can only get a one day or a two day shield once you reach 4,100 trophies, I think, or 4,000 trophies. Um, but yeah, this means you're going to be able to take a seven day break, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this shakes up sort of, I guess, like the top level trophy meta and see if maybe more people gain trophies, more or people lose trophies or sort of what happens there so that's going to do it for the fourth sneak peek hope you guys enjoyed it i think the clan war tiebreaker is going to work out pretty nice it was actually exciting inside of nordic clash so i feel like it's going to work out pretty well inside of the game and uh yeah that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys later peace out